begin with up to the minute financial fallout shelter coverage of today's top story. The nation's girlfriends continue to press for an economic recovery plan they say could save the nation as much as $220 billion annually if their boyfriends simply agree to move in with them. Prominent girlfriends from across the country testified before Congress earlier today. Our plan could dramatically cut expenditures for more than 1.2 million American couples who basically live together anyway, if you look at how much time they spend with each other. There has been some criticism that you're pushing America's boyfriends, that it's not time for this type of Congressman situation. Congressman Ingersoll, this is not even about wanting to live together. Even though a lot of us have been together with our boyfriends from anywhere between a year and three years, and everyone who knows us says we're the perfect couple. In a recession, it just doesn't make any sense for two people who say they love each other to pay separate rents. Joining us now live from Washington is a spokeswoman for the nation's girlfriends, Kelly Ambrose. Welcome, Kelly. Hello, Andrea. Now, you and the other girlfriends have been very vocal about this plan in the past few days. Why the sudden push? Andrea, the slogan of our movement is, it's time. This plan just makes sense for us financially. But some boyfriends have said there are other ways to save money, like not going out for expensive dinners and extraneous brunches, or not taking that trip to Vermont to see the leaves change. Yes, but in our plan, we don't have to make cuts. In fact, I see. we could even use some of the money we save save on sports things or whatever boyfriends want. Oh, well, but isn't there a And our plan will also encourage consumer spending since having new apartments would spur an anticipated 45% increase in dinner parties, cocktail parties, maybe even a Halloween party with fun drinks that have Halloween-related names. Now, some boyfriends have been dragging their feet on this That's issue. That's right. Do the nation's boyfriends want to sit there just watching our national debt grow and grow while their stupid roommate Chad hangs out in the living room playing video games 24 hours a day sure. so the boyfriend can never watch a movie, even if his girlfriend brings over a DVD that she has rented. Okay, well, we have a boyfriend representative, Jake Larson, here with us to help provide another perspective on this issue. Hi, Andrea. Thank you. Hi, Kels. Hi, honey. Now, Jake, you're familiar with the girlfriend's plan, correct? Yes, I've been briefed on it several times, and it's our contention that things are fine. This doesn't have to be a big deal. But you have stated that the plan could, quote, tie the nation's boyfriends into long-term living arrangements that could inhibit future independence. Right. Inhibit? Do you mean like smothering? Is that how you think of this plan? No, no, I never used that word. But you did imply it. It was in your tone, Jake. I, I, look, I really don't want to argue about this. Okay, we're not arguing, Jake. We we're just talking. I, well, can we discuss this another time? Like oh, tomorrow? What's going to change between now and Why tomorrow, Why would we talk Jake? about this tomorrow? We're already talking about this now. Jake, if there's some reason you're opposed to this plan, you can say so, and nobody will be mad. But, you know, I just feel like it's too soon. Okay, fine. Fine, then. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Later in the hour, we'll talk to the nation's mothers about what this plan means for the possibility of them ever having grandchildren. Moving on, a study finds that most Americans' retirement plans consist of finding a briefcase of money. Will there be any provisions made for game days during football season? Yes, the girlfriends love football, and they can make snacks and dips and cookies for all the guys. It'll be fun. Now, some of this research dates back to August 2006. Why had you begun planning a move the very same year many of the girls met their boyfriends? That research was preliminary. It never hurts to be prepared. But what about when John moved in with Tara, and then she dumped him, and he had to find a roommate on Craigslist? That was a highly unusual situation, Congressman. Yes, Tara is my friend, but you know how she is. And what is this about a waffle maker? Come on, representatives of Congress. It is vital that you do something to incentivize the boyfriends to see that this is right for the nation. Because it is. And what if the nation's economy turns around? Would we then consider having two places again? Are you implying that the boyfriends would want to move out? Why would they want to do that when things are great and we are trying so hard to make them happy? 